My name is Dylan Tomlinson. I'm a cadet at the United States Air Force Academy, uh, class of 2024, so I'm a junior currently. Some of the research project that I have been working on right now is the neuromorphic sensing that we have down at the physics research lab. Uh, Dr. McCarg is a huge contributor of this. He has introduced me and gotten me in a lot of these projects. The main ones that I'm focusing on right now on are going to be a lot of laser detection and laser scattering. So if there's a laser shot from the Earth, are we able to detect it from, even though the laser isn't directly pointed at the satellite, are we able to detect it based on the scattering as the laser goes through dust particles, you know, water molecules, everything like that in the atmosphere itself? And if so, are we able to generally give an idea of where that laser originated from? Uh, this also has similar applications to, say, laser communication between satellites. Uh, and some of the other projects that the cadets get to work on are uh, classifying if we can detect uh, aircraft, and if so, what kind of aircraft. Is it based on the rotor classification? Is it a certain type of helicopter? Or even specifically, based on the size and speed, what kind of plane it is specifically. So. Uh, a lot of applications are in it for uh, USAFA. I've been able to work with a lot of people. I know that the research professors as well as the cadets get to really work together, try to really learn how we're supposed to be working once we get in the big Air Force. So it's been, it's been a huge contribution for sure. Yes, sir, I just had my Space Force interview two days ago. Uh, it was really nerve-wracking, but I think, I think it went well. Uh, my ideal goal is to go developmental engineer out of the academy. Uh, maybe from there go to graduate school. The, one of the huge advantages is I'm already working this, all these research projects that we have are graduate level as is, uh, as well as I'm in one of the only Air Force Academy graduate level classes at an undergrad university. Uh, so it's been an amazing opportunity to get into that mindset, to get ready for uh, you know, future learning as well as future endeavors that I'll have on uh, the operational side. This is my first one actually. Uh, I like it so it's a lot so so much so little time you kind of see all those advancements that haven't really gotten to either public media attention yet or you get to these advancements that haven't yet happened but they're just right there on the brink of it uh, and so it's been I've been able to kind of run around a few times already it's been a huge opportunity I've met so many people have shaken so many hands so right. yeah, it's really awesome we've, we've done a similar one we have a corona conference at the Academy itself uh, not nearly to this scale, but it's specifically all the cadet projects. So not just neuromorphics, but a lot of the other projects. I know one of them, for example, is working on uh, biology, working on trying to grow plants in space, for example. So they'll have generals, uh, you know, colonels, generals, all sorts of people like that are uh, coming out to see what we're able to do.